Last week, as you know, it was announced that CHCH TV was potentially for sale, might possibly close down for good. We became the story instead of reporting on the story. In fact, it's kind of tough to objectively report on your possible demise. And that's why I'm having a real problem with this story. People have been coming up to me and I'm sure other CHCH employees asking, how's it going over there? What do you think's going to happen? They can't close down the station, can they? And are you worried about your job? The answers are pretty good, I don't know, I hope not, and sure I'm worried. But I also have a job to do, and that's why it's so awkward to be commenting on a story that I shouldn't have to cover. The bosses here say it's business as usual, which means we still have an obligation to you, the viewer, to report the news accurately and without bias. Now, we can report job layoffs at GM, we can tell you about job losses at John Deere, cutbacks at Hamilton Health Science, but it's tough to accurately report on what's going on at your own TV station. In fact, I have no inside information as to what's going to happen here. Normally, we'll make some phone calls, try to get a quote from a credible source as to the company's status. Not here. We can't offer further insight or information because we just don't have it. Sorry, folks. Wish I knew more, but I don't. So please stop asking. Now a comment from a viewer regarding my suggestion that a lottery winner shouldn't be able to take home more than $2 million. It says, a $2 million pot is nothing to sneeze at, but I sent a letter to the OLGC about this uh, same train of thought. What I got back was that it would be too difficult and costly for them to adopt this program as it would mean changing formats. Boo-hoo. With the money they rake in, I'm sure they can afford it. And yes, it would help a lot more people out, like you said, paying off mortgages, purchasing cars, appliances, etc. And this could help jumpstart the economy by people actually spending money. From Larry. If you want to get in touch with me, mhebsher at chchnews.ca. Nick, Michelle. And what a weekend it was. Of course, we were all probably asked the very same questions about the future of the station and everything else. And while it is tough to answer those questions, we do appreciate all the support on the Facebook groups and all the supportive emails and phone calls. Thank you.